time being. Um, so I'm going to go back to the... Uh, oh, no. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to tint the subsurface color a little bit. It's a little desaturated for me. Um, I want it to more rustic, kind of greenish style. Um, and it looks like the, uh, I keep doing this, it looks like there's spec on it, which, uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit more than I originally intended. I'm just going to knock that down. The other thing is I think that the the paint settings for this are um, kind of want to sink it into the ground a little bit. You can actually do that; it's really cool. Um, but it's going to create it's going to create some variation. Uh, like that, it's kind of cool. Um, and I'm just going to actually just kill this mesh. If I need to place it anywhere, I'll place it by hand. I really want to have larger clumps of this stuff. Um, and I also need to tweak my grass. <laughs> you can see what I mean about the MIPS uh, with, this, with this grass texture. So I'm actually going to hop in and see, we'll see what I can do. Uh, grass. Um, Start by uh, setting the map settings to sharpen. Um, I go to the grass. I look at it. I think I don't think I want to specular on this. Um, I want to boost the desaturation so I can lay in everything up a little bit. CSS subsurface scattering. Um, I'm going to tint it. Uh, probably do more tinting later. Uh, I'm going to scale up the... the height just a little. Um, oh, right. Uh, get that back down. Um, Um, pretty, please, starting to, starting to look a little better, so I'm going to go back to the foliage paintings and start messing with some of the grass stuff. I know I want the intensity for the grass to just be, you know, way more of it. Um, I just want to see what that looks like, right? Like, um... How does that, how does that hold up? Not that bad. Um, I think. Uh, so you can actually do non-uniform scale, so I can lock all the scales and set it to, and we get like a little bit of variation in that grass. Um, go back grass material and keep tweaking. Um, one of the reasons I like doing really simple grass like this is it lets you tweak, it lets you play with the color. You know, if the, the SS, the subsurface scattering, maybe it's uh, just not quite green enough or it's just the wrong material and I'm just not paying attention. Here we go. Uh, so I'm going to like tweak the subsurface scattering to, to maybe match up a little bit with um, some of that coloration. Um, I think I did go too yellow with the grass. Uh, I think gotta be gotta be a little careful with this stuff. Um, if I go green, it reads really green, even though this is reading really uh, brown. Um, 
know, one way, one way to figure out what is the diffuse color doing to actually just uh, um, switch to like an unlit mode. That's actually, that matches, and now that tells me that there's other things causing this problem, right? There's, um, there's some, some lighting that is causing this kind of complexity. Uh, um, one of the things that I can do that I didn't do, uh, is just put in a control for the opacity, uh, which can just help affect the overall, uh, a light that comes through. Do that. I'm going to um, rub this just so I can have it here. The opacity is zero for them. You can see that instantly is like bleeding a lot more light through. I'm actually gonna I meant to actually lock it the other way. Uh, we'll see what happens. Well, it's starting to blend a little bit better. Um, and I, again, I'm not going to be going very crazy with this stuff. I'm just going to move that to the side for now. Uh, uh, right now it's a matter of figuring out what uh, what is working and, and how many of it is working. Um, you know, it's, it's While it's fun to layer in grass like that, um, certainly not what I intended. Uh, I really like this whole bare bones look. Uh, I think I'm going to be a little bit more, uh, cautious with it, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I know one thing that's bugging me is the UV scale of this first. Uh, no, it's not. I'm just, that's another thing is you got to be careful. You get like, you get like, oh my God, this one thing right here is problematic, but you know what? You don't see it. So it doesn't really matter as much as you would like to think. And it's hard. It's hard to, it's hard to be restrictive on yourself like that. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm controlling like some of the mesh density, seeing what it looks like. Um, I think maybe, maybe I could do the same thing where I kind of sink the gra the grass a little bit into the ground. Um, um, the density is way too high on this. Oh, I don't know that. That's kind of nice. Kind of getting like a little bit of natural. Uh, natural play. I still think. I'm still not a super huge fan of some of what's happening with the. Uh, with the grass coloring, um, you can't see it, it's off screen, but I'm just going to start tinting it a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to increase the opacity, or decrease the opacity just a little bit, just to see if we can get just a little bit better. It, it's deceiving, right? The, the roughness and the specularity of the blend material is actually what is... Uh, what is uh, removing a good deal of the contrast from the scene. Um, uh, I don't think I actually made a parameter for the, the specularity. Did not. So I'm going to actually do that now. See if I can it to be a little bit, uh, a little bit lower. Yeah, see, look at that difference. Um, you 
You know, I'd be lying if I thought that didn't take away a little bit of some of the charm from some of this stuff. Um, uh, it's tough, right? Because you want uh, you want the the foliage to stand in correctly. Um, and that's what I'm desperately trying to do. Uh, let's see, grass. So one of the things I've decided is I'm going to actually, I'm going to remove this grass for now. I'd rather tweak one thing and get that one thing right and then approach that somewhere else than juggle too many things. Let's figure out, like, what exactly I want from this. Um... You know, maybe maybe it does need some specularity. Uh, the softened normals are <laughs> definitely a little bit of what is causing um, uh, the like the mismatched lighting. Um, because of that, it's trying to match. It's trying to. It's trying to think that the all the normals are one specific way. I'm actually going to import a, a texture on my own just to see if it helps. Um, I've got uh, some technical textures. Uh, rain, render cloud, sprinkling, normal, map, discray, long self normal. Um, black, black gradient. Um, I thought I had a blank, uh, uh, like a blank normal map. Um, oh, here we go. Normal flat. Oh, I was right. Didn't do, didn't do anything. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go in and, you know, I think this is this is making progress. Uh, Going to yeah, you can see the 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 normals are getting oh mouse is freaking out a little bit uh, the normals are offsetting that spec which is unfortunately what is causing that problem so I'm gonna try something really quickly just because grass is getting treated so differently in this. Um, I'm gonna try and that normal. There is a project a world. Yeah. Never mind. I was I was gonna try something a little tricky, but I'm gonna keep this simple. That's it's it's close enough. Um, It's unfortunate. I thought that would uh, that would play out a little bit better. Um, seems very very strange. I think it may be the two sided lighting. Uh, Try disabling that. Oh. That's the blend material. Uh, am I grass? Am I grass? My grass. So now it looks it works, but unfortunately the uh now I can add I can add spec and it matches up correctly, but the um, the opacity is preventing correct shadowing. Um as you can as you can kind of see. So 
So it's it's a trade-off, right? You're making you're making concessions uh, either way you go. Um, I would much rather have the. What I'm confused about is how come I I only have uh, that lighting from some angles. So I'm gonna try and solve that really quickly. Maps. It's better, uh, but it's not. It's not ideal. Okay. So I'm actually going to stop the recording really quickly, and I'm going to take a look at this because I think there may be a technical issue on my end. Uh, I will be back.